हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अ लेक्चर व्हिच टॉक्स अबाउट वोल्टेज फ्रंट नेगेटिव फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर वी नो दैट देयर आर फोर डिफरेंट फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर्स वोल्टेज सीरीज वोल्टेज फ्रंट करंट सीरीज एंड करंट फ्रंट एंड देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ फीडबैक नेगेटिव एंड पॉजिटिव सो इन दिस लेक्चर we are going to talk about voltage fund negative feedback amplifier this is one block diagram where we can understand that this is voltage fund negative feedback amplifier why it is voltage fund because we can see that voltage is sampled from the output we can clearly see that the output voltage is being sampled in parallel manner why there is a shunt term because the feedback signal we can see here is some part of output voltage that is beta into vo that is if so the feedback signal is mixed in parallel with the current source so the mixing is current mixing so the output signal which is make which is sampled is voltage and it is mixed in parallel or shunt manner we call this topology or the feedback amplifier as voltage shunt negative feedback amplifier let us analyze whenever we analyze any feedback amplifier we try to determine the current gain voltage gain or gain of the amplifier or input in output impedance here the is is applied as input if is the feedback current and vo is the output voltage a is gain here a which you can see in the block diagram but what is a here which is trans resistance gain this is not a voltage amplifier this is a amplifier whose output is voltage was input is current so the ratio of voltage to current is trans resistance so the gain here a is representing actually rm trans resistance gain and what is feedback current here we can see that if is equal to beta times vo that is some part of output voltage is sent back to the input which is feedback component this amplifier is also called as trans resistance amplifier because output is voltage and the input signal is current the difference of input signal and the feedback signal we can see here that actually is amplified by the amplifier because we have closed loop there is a feedback so we are interested to determine we are interested to study what is the effect of feedback on input impedance and what is the effect of feedback on overall gain that is trans resistance gain with feedback let us understand input resistance with feedback we can say that rif that is feedback resistance will be nothing but input voltage divided by is why we are considering is because this is beyond the loop this is outside the loop we are interested with feedback so it is vi divided by what is is we can see here is is divided into in and if if it is positive feedback if will go this direction opposite direction but this is negative feedback so what is is in plus if and we can also see that if is equal to beta times vo and therefore we can write rif as vi divided by in plus beta vo now what is rm that is trans resistance gain without feedback which is v not divided by i input and what is vo output voltage we can write here from this one in into rm because rm is equal to vo divided by in so vo can be written as rm into in again let us rewrite rif vi divided by in plus beta and what is v not rm into i so what is ri ri is the input resistance without feedback 
that is input voltage divided by input current inside the loop so if we do like this if we write rif as vi divided by in is separated here so in into 1 plus beta rm and what is vi divided by in it is equal to ri so it is ri divided by 1 plus beta rm this 1 plus beta rm is nothing but 1 plus beta a in case of other amplifiers also ri is the resistance without feedback what is ri here resistance with feedback so we can see here that the input impedance is reduced by the factor 1 plus beta rm due to the negative feedback now gain that is trans resistance gain with feedback that is what is the effect of negative feedback on overall gain that is closed loop gain so what is closed loop gain output voltage divided by initial current that is outside the loop and what is is similarly in the expression of ri also we have written in plus if in plus beta vo what is rm vo divided by ii that also we have seen so vo can be written as ii into r rm and therefore is can be written as in plus beta what is vo in into rm so in can be separated we can write 1 plus beta rm therefore rmf rmf is the output voltage that is vo divided by is let us substitute the value of is what is is here this one and what is vo divided by in this is rm trans resistance gain without feedback and divided by 1 plus beta rm and therefore we can see here that the gain which is trans resistance gain is reduced by 1 plus beta rm here by mistake due to due to has been written two times my apology for that but what is important is by the negative feedback trans resistance gain as well as input impedance are reduced by the factor 1 plus a beta i hope that this lecture will help in understanding the concept of this amplifier for more similar videos you can subscribe my channel the name of my channel is dr gr sinha conceptualizing and motivating good luck